All right, so I've been bagging this windbreak water skip rye for a while now, and I keep finding new uses for it beyond the water skip. And this is one of the holes. Uh, it's uh, ECC back nine hole two. And I used to throw the sapphire here, which leaves you about a 70 footer. Not bad, definitely workable. But I'm finding that this uh, windbreak water skip rye, since the water skip kind of gives you the roll stop on the very limited ground play, uh, it works really well here and a great distance. Same uh, basic game points, just over here to the right somewhere of the hole. And uh, this thing does not go long and often gets you really close. Like, uh, you know, put to tap in sometimes and you know the 70 footer with the sapphire like i say that's not bad but uh you know if i can change that to a 10 footer or so and you can see that looked like it was going to go long but that um water skip it it uh it causes very limited uh, ground play so uh, you know, you, there is an OB line on this sidewalk that you still have to be a little leery of because this thing does have a bit of fade. So you, you want to keep it out here to the right. But as long as you keep it out here to the right, uh, I think you'll be in great shape. There's another putt. So you can see I'll do maybe one more here. No need to uh, belabor it, but uh, this is... Uh, this is definitely going to be my disc. Uh, I'm going to be throwing this hole from now on. So, on another putt. So, very, very nice fit as far as the shape and the distance. All right, here's another hole that I just started experimenting with the windbreak water skip rive on. So, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, default aim, uh, it's either going to be a, like a half a disc of Anheuser or a full disc, depending on the wind. Uh, sometimes a little bit less and I'm not trying to hit the water here I'm not trying to use the water skip uh, feature but uh, let's see this one 80 feet that's doable I like to get a little closer though and this disc certainly will now this is one of the tougher winds you're going to need to go a full disc worth here um, Hopefully that goes long enough to get past this OB line, and it did. But this one seems to have a lot of promise, and one of the things I like is the default aim. And I'm not trying to hit this water, but if you do, most of the times it will skip uh, over top of it. For some reason, uh, there's times where it will just take a swim. Not sure what that's about, but... Uh, this disc does have a bit of fade, so uh, there is a danger of finding this OB area over here to the left if you don't send it out far enough to the right. But the shape and the distance uh, indicates to me some promise for this hole. Almost made it back in there. Uh, not 100%, but uh, then again... Uh, few things are that's way too much anheuser see if it skips across this water well it didn't skip across the water but it ended up in bounds with that heavy fade it has this is one of the worst winds gotta give this a full disc worth of anheuser at least uh and even that might not be enough let's see if we can get this one in bounds yep skipped uh, across the water that time so like yeah i'm not trying to use the water skip but it is handy uh, in that it will sometimes save you from uh, the watery death just in bounds but again this is sort of uh, in the experimental stage still for me i don't normally publish these but I like the promise of this so much that I wanted to go ahead and share it. And what I would suggest is go into practice mode yourself and throw this a few times if you have it and see what you think. 
seems very promising to me. Uh, this is one that gives me a lot of trouble, has given me a lot of trouble historically. So uh, if I can find something that uh, gives me even like a 80 or 90% birdie rate, oh, almost got the ace, um, I'd be happy with that. So, all right, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And we'll see you around the valley.